Day two. Hi, my name is Brian. I'm autistic and I have ADHD and I'm burnt out and depressed. I'm trying to get out of it. Go watch the first video because I'm not going through all of it again. Uh, yesterday was a success. And I don't want to say that. I feel guilty saying it was a success for whatever reason, but I'm blown away by the response. And I just want to clarify, I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. I'm just trying to do different things that seem to help other people that professionals have said or have said that help others uh, when going through things like this because I'm won't be able to continue like this. It's not sustainable. And that's been going on for months now. And I, I know this is not going to be a 30 days and it's fixed kind of thing. This is from something that I've experienced in my life when learning, because I used to like to learn a lot. Small changes over a long period of time are a lot more sustainable to keep and they'll have the biggest impact on whatever it is you're doing. So this 30 days is trying to make small adjustments and improvements to help me to continue to build a life where burnout happens less because it will happen again. I will get burnt out again and I will get depressed again. And I think sitting with that thought almost makes it easier. But first, I, I want to say, like, I, I didn't expect to get the response that I got from yesterday's video. And go through some of the comments. It's heartbreaking that people have to go through this alone. And for a couple of decades, I didn't know that this wasn't how people were supposed to feel. I thought everybody felt like this. And then I just started reading and talking about it people are like no that's not that's not normal that's not how you should feel and i just want to let all of you know you're not alone people feel just like you do and people are are willing to help like it was weird not long after i posted that video so many people reached out to me to help just out of kindness and that was unexpected i feel like i uh, reacted like a abused wounded shelter dog when when people did that just kind of taken aback and stuff I, I was weird and uncomfortable now i'm not sure what's going to be more embarrassing the stuff i talked about in yesterday's video or the stuff that i considered a success because it to me it seems pathetic that that's all I could do because I used to be able to do so much like it yesterday I one I posted the video and that's a really big thing if you need help ask for help right away just start it sucks it's embarrassing it's emotional it's unnerving uncomfortable it makes you feel disgusting just start because if I didn't post that video yesterday, I wouldn't be, I would have counted yesterday as a, a success. Yeah. Um, so yeah, just start. But because of starting yesterday, I was able to get a boost to kind of get through and do some other things. I got cleaned up a little bit, you know, cut my hair, shaved, that kind of thing. Uh, got some exercise in, I ate some food. Now eating food is a real strong, strong word. I uh, use a blender a lot, make a lot of smoothies because if I have to like cook or prepare something that takes more than like two steps, it ain't happening right now. Um, played with my cat a little bit, uh, snuggled. It's a, uh, she's real soft, so kind of weird saying that but 
know, it was nice quality time with, with my pet. Um, and I not acknowledged, this is a big thing. I acknowledge that I am not okay. And it's okay to not be okay. Like it's gonna happen, but it's not okay to stay that way. So that's why I'm trying to do these different things to get myself out of it. This is a super long video, so. I also did some auditions, which is good because I have to get work. And I researched about colostomy bags and how they work for whatever reason just popped into my head. Um, but I took some people's advice yesterday, went out in nature, and I got a walk in this morning. That was actually going to be my goal for today, for day two, was walk. Um, so I'm just going to try to, I'm going to try to continue. Um, that's all I got. I'm going to have less goals today because I have the tendency to do things, to push things too far. And if I do that, then I'll go right back to where I was. It's kind of like if you've ever had an injury before, whether it's, you know, something small, like a cut or a bruise or something big, you start to recover, you start to feel better. And then you push yourself just a little bit too far, a little bit too fast. And then you, you're re-injured. So kind of the same thing with burnout. I, I want to, I want to make it to day three. And I got a lot more videos to make, so. And I'll try to read the comments, but if they start coming in like they were in these, this last video, I'm probably not going to be able to keep up with all of them. But thanks for being here. Hang in there. And not by, not by news.